direction, uh, focus. You know, Alvin's been getting you guys, and you guys on your own too. And that's what our goal is. We want you to, after whatever we do, at the end of the day, you have satisfaction of getting something out of it. You know, because what we have set up our goal for is long term. You know, it's a very big picture. But in the meantime, you got to get something done so that you know what you're doing actually gets result, makes sense. So I think what you're doing is fine. We're doing the right way. But once in a while, we, I want you to get back to the basics. Why are we all here, right? We started, most of you come because we uh, introduced to you American creed, which is American value, which is the reason why we are all in the United States, why we are all Americans. You know, I think that's the reason. And the uh, things that we need to do, we need to learn, we need to uh, be educated. It's a learning process. It's education. But that's a long-term thing. Okay, but in the meantime, we want to have you do things. And one of the most important things about this pr uh, purpose that we're doing is engagement, civic engagement. You know, one of the important things about American value is we are a government of the people for the people, by the people, right? So, you've been watching or being aware in the last few weeks, uh, there's a lot of things going on, you know, on TV, newspaper, hopefully you've been listening, talking to other folks. Uh, I, I'm gonna ask you, what, it, what do you think it is that you have heard a lot about, uh, which ultimately will lead to what's coming up next week? Uh, Tuesday. So, who knows what's the most important thing that's going to happen next Tuesday? I see two hands. Go ahead. Midterms. Midterm. Yeah. Midterm what? Election. election. <laughs> right? Midterm election. Yeah. So that's very important. What does it mean by midterm election? What's our responsibility during midterm election? To vote for the people who we can. To vote. How many of you can vote? One, two, three, four, five. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Because we are six. When you're over 18, you can vote. So most of you are not 18 yet. So you cannot vote. But once you're over 18, you can vote. And this is the responsibility we have to participate. Right? To participate is important because that's how you get to be heard. That's how you make a difference. That's how you have influence. And uh, that's one of the important values to be, to participate. You have to, basically, you want to be engaged, engaged, civil engagement. So this is very important because that determines on the policy the government makes, policy makers, politicians, they do a lot of things, you know, for this country that affect us, affect our lives. So it's important we let them hear us. They know what we feel that's important to our lives. Okay, and we need to, uh, and be, because it's such a country, we're a country of democracy, that means there's not one person that dictates, you know, what everybody has to live by. We, each of us, have the opportunity to say, to let people know how we want our lives to be by majority, by the way we vote, by the way we voice our opinions. So each of us have that responsibility. If we don't do it, that means we're giving up our role, our influence. They do things regardless of what we believe in for our good or bad, to do those things. So, but as you can tell, even among the so many of us, there are 30 of us here, it's very complicated when each of us are going to influence you know, the decision that's being made. Each of us want to let people know what we feel. You know, it's very difficult, right? And because like just today, we're sitting here in a few minutes, we got to let people know how you feel. I have to talk to each of you individually. What do you think about this issue? Who should we elect to represent us, right? That's a tough question. There are many people who run for that position. How do you know who do you want to support? It's very hard, you know? They, 
talk to you. They advertise. They you turn on the TV, and the same person that's being discussed, you know, depending on who you listen to, you know, they all have their own opinions. You know, one says bad, one says good, one says blue, one says gray, one says red, one says pink. Very difficult. So you have to be engaged. You have to learn to be engaged. It takes time, takes effort, takes a lot of work, right? You can just sit there and just say, oh, okay, something happens. So it's a lot of work. That means we need to have a very in proactive way. And you need to also have your opinion expressed so that we all get under the same page. We all have the same ideas, same objectives. We probably don't all agree on the same thing sometimes. There are 30 of us here. We may have 30 opinions about something. How do we want to do something together? So we have a process in this country to talk about it, to discuss it, to debate, to disagree, to agree. I mean, there's a lot of things we can do. We have to make compromises. We have to figure out what's best for the most good, what's best for the most of us. You know, what, if it's not good or bad or whatever, we have to know how to handle it, how to take care of it, how to do things that it is for the most good for most of us. We need to know, in order to know what's good for most of us, we need to have apathy. We need to know what people think, what people believe, what's good for folks. And we need to have communication. So I think that's all we're trying to learn, right? So that's why American Creed is so important. You know, even though we all are busy doing something, you know, we, we have a project. Uh, I'm going to story, American Creed, he went to Northwest School, talked to some people. So he put, did a lot of work, you know, organized and talked to folks, get people to cooperate, get people to come. And some of you went there, you know, yesterday, and you talked to a lot of folks. So that's very good. You guys have done a good job. You learn how to do things like that. You know how to outreach. You know how to plan. You know how to schedule. You know how to do a website. You know, you know how to do a lot of these things. But that's just doing it is good. It's an important skill to learn. So by giving you projects, by teaching you, by giving you opportunities, you're working with other people, you're learning all those skills. But learning skills is all good. But sometimes it doesn't last for forever. And so when you uh, have challenges, when things are difficult, uh, sometimes you wonder, why am I doing this? You know? And if you don't know why you're doing it, sometimes you give up. Sometimes you do it for the wrong reason, or you cannot sustain your effort. You know, you only do a certain time point, and you say, well, you know, why am I doing this for? So it's more important that you know why you're doing it. And the why is what I, I hope most of you guys learn by learning, by Mr. Chan, by Sam, we're working very hard trying to give you a fund, fundamental reason for doing those things. And hopefully your parents would reinforce that. And sometimes your parents, well, some of them are you know, not born here. We immigrated from other places. We don't really quite understand what are so important because our life sometimes is not quite the same. You know, it's arranged for us. We're supposed to do that and you just do it. And you don't question it, you don't reason it. But now we are here in this country that we want to be able to, you know, control our own lives. So we need to know why and need to be convinced. We want you to be able to advocate out there, talk to other people, you know, that they understand the values, the importance, why you're doing what you're doing. I think that's the reason I want to take tonight, take the opportunity to make sure, you know, we talk about American Creed, we talk about different values, what are they, why do we feel that they're important, why do we talk about it, why do we let other people know about it, and the reason for doing that is what you are learning, I hope, by understanding the basic reason, basic you know, premise, why that's important to us and to our community, to our family, to our society, to our country as a whole. And I think that's really what it is, because ultimately you have to be happy of the decision you are making.
you know, not just aimlessly, you know. Uh, we're lucky, you guys are lucky. We have so many te technology. The life your parents have made up for, for us. You know, you have time. You, 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 you go to good schools, you have a good life, you, you're going to be very, uh, what's the word, successful in what you do. But ultimately, you know, you, don't, you, you want to do things knowing that you have a purpose. You have a reason to do what you do. So you can explain, you know, to your children. Uh, you probably never think about it yet, but it will happen. Don't believe me. And also, you want to improve on the community you live in in the future, right? If you don't think about it, if you say, oh, I'm doing what I'm doing, I'm happy, happy with it. Yeah, life can just go on that way, no problem. But there are a lot of challenges because not everybody, you know, are always uh, understanding how to, uh, uh, well, how would I put it? Uh, handle some of the challenges that will come on us. Because as you find out, when you do projects, not every project will just go smoothly. There's a lot of obstacles, a lot of challenges, a lot of questions. So you have to learn how to manage them, how to respond to it, how to overcome some of these difficulties. To do that, you have to understand why. The reason what you're doing has a purpose. You know, something that you can work through. So. Uh, I'm really thankful, I'm really happy that you guys like, you know, what you're doing, your uh, friendship, your camaraderie, and the, that you come here every Sunday night. And then even more satisfying to me is when you go out, you do your project, you know, you're, you're ready to work together more, just do things, you know. But importantly, I want to make sure that when we are no longer be with you sometimes. You know, eventually you're going to be moving on. You're going to go to college. You're going to go to work. And uh, you know, you're going to have your own things in the future. Uh, when you do that, you have to know why you did this, why you are going through this, why you're spending every Sunday night. And some of you spend during weekdays as well. You get together, you figure out what to do. You know, your extra time, which you can be doing other things. So it's important to know the value, the principle, uh, the reason why we are doing this. You know, for fundamental reasons, you got to understand. Uh, so I'm going to stop here for a minute, and I want to just give you the chance to ask some questions if you want to, or if you're willing to respond, react to what I said. Uh, feel free to do that. Yeah. Uh, any questions? Anybody who wants to? Comment, say a few words. No? Over there, oh. we have a question. Oh, go ahead. What do you think is the biggest hindrance for youth today? Um, like, what do you think is stopping you from kind of following what you were saying earlier? Uh, I believe it's because there are not enough uh, uh, difficulties. Things are too easy. <laughs> I don't want to use that word, spoiled. But in a way that the youth today are spoiled, uh, especially in the United States. You know? If you're in other countries, it's not quite the same. When your parents were in China or in India or wherever we come from, you know, life is not quite the same. If you don't work, if you don't uh, do extra stuff, uh, if you don't think about uh, tomorrow, you know, uh, life's going to be tough. Just barely, barely surviving is difficult. Then when we came to this country, it's just as difficult. Uh, eco economy, lifestyle may be different, opportunity is there. But then you're facing new challenges, facing language, facing culture, uh, your, your family's no longer there, no support, uh, right? So, but when we get sort of stabilized a bit. You know, we barely, we, we, we make it. Uh, you guys came, came about. And, uh, you know, financially, this country, economically, uh, everybody's, you know, well taken care of. You all get to go to good schools. Your parents have worked hard to make sure that you are provided for. 
and you got to go to the best schools. So you don't have that kind of challenge. That's the, 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 the biggest barrier. Um, so there has to be something in you that drives you. You know, so I want to, again, uh, compliment you guys. And uh, even being spoiled, you're still here Sunday night <laughs> sitting, you know, listening to me talking. <laughs> Uh, that means you, there's something in you that your parents has given you that value or reason. Or you thought, thought about it and say, well, uh, not just what I'm going to do with my time, you know, two hours Sunday night. But you actually saw that the question you ask, you know, I think that's a great question. These are the things I want. You need to be curious. You need to be wondering. Uh, Every day you go out, you need to be thinking, wow, it's, you know, the things that, that's constant, regardless of environment, is your own sense of curiosity, of be, be, uh, your wonderment. Why, you know, what, who asked, John Kennedy or, uh, or Robert Kennedy? Uh, always ask, <coughs> ask why, do not ask why, but ask why not, right? to be curious, you know, so what can you do better? What can things be different? What one extra things you can do to make things better? You know, I mean, that's, that's the kind of uh, inherent attitude that will make your life interesting, you know? It's the difference between somebody who, whose life is pretty uh, uh, boring than somebody who you know, it's always looking for something uh, a little bit different. I think that's what makes, makes it different. So you guys are, again, exceptional. That's where you're here. And I hope you can uh, give yourself the opportunity to learn from each other, to learn from other people. Uh, one, th one thing to do is uh, study, study. You know, when I was younger, you know. I mean, I wasn't like you guys. I, I was just kind of happy-go-lucky happy guy, too. You know, came to college as well, you know, just have fun, you know, get a degree and get a job and everything should be good. You know, but uh, it's more than that. For some reason, you know, I just felt uh, life could be better because you see, you are sensitive to what other people around the world that's, but to do that, you have to kind of know, expo expose yourself by reading history, by uh, going places, by traveling, by seeing how other people in the world live compared to what you, ha you live. And even in this country, what, why are people not doing better or happier or being treated uh, better than they are, right? Then you say, what can I do? What can we do? What can we all help? I think this is what uh, civil engagement is, and this is what you guys are doing today. Right now, you work not just by yourself, but you work thinking about other people, not just thinking about what you, you know, because I mentioned, if you guys are spoiled, so what's there for you guys to do, right? Spoiled, just have a happy life, that's it. But you need to be sensitive uh, to what you can do to others, to the rest of the world, to make a better life. To do that, you know, you cannot just do it by yourself. You have to do it as a team. And because as human beings, just doing something by your own, it is, again, it's not as fun somehow, I feel. It, it, it's like lonely. It's like uh, you're doing it, nobody is supporting you. But I believe that, you know, number one, you'll be more effective if you work with other people. And two, you know, human beings, uh, we are social animals. Uh, naturally, you make, it's more fun to work together, right? It's more fun. It's more fun to have people working with you, helping each other, seeing what they can do and you do just as well, and needing people to support you, to push you. And that's why y your parents can help you. And that's why your siblings can help you, and everybody else can. So I think this is really how the world can work better. And you look around, the whole world now, it's, you know, polarized. Everybody's, you know, fighting against each other for their own good. And so you're not working as a team. 
I think that if we work as a team, work together with similar goals, and the world would be much better. So that's the reason. And uh, th these are big, big goals, right? Not all of us can accomplish. But it doesn't matter. You know, it may take thousands of years. But, you know, even if we don't accomplish all those goals, you know, ultimately, you, yourself, your life would be a lot more uh, fuller, a lot fuller, a lot richer uh, if you, uh, you know, well, just eventually, you know, just making one person's life better, it's worth it already. Imagine if you can make two, three, a thousand people's life better, you know, that would be amazing accomplishment. So that's what I think we all wish you uh, the ability to do that. Your parents want to do that, and it's better for the whole society, better for the whole world, and why not, right? So the question is, why not? <laughs> it's not why, but why not? Yes. Somebody say something. Come on. Anybody? No? That's it? Okay. I think we are half an hour done. So I just want to remind you guys, understand why we're doing this, that when we do our project, we have a lot more fun. We enjoy more. We understand better. Okay. Thanks. <laughs>